I'm ready to go show them here the next few weeks, fourth sentence, and I'm fucking sick of it, man. Boys, this is what I'm saying, man, look, MB, bro, you want me to try and help you out before court and get you in work? Well, I'd you've got something to show the judge, but, you know, you don't just use it and throw it away, bro. I can help anyone, lad, but I just want to see them use it properly, man. But anyone who's in the shovel watching, lad, look, I've got your boys when you come home, mate. Hit me up, get you a job, get you working. But, like, I can't do it if you're not ready, if that makes sense. The amount of people who come home and want help, we just know they're not ready. Sometimes it takes a big sentence, boys, or sometimes it takes a fucking big mistake to realise you're ready. Don't wait till you're in a cell looking at 30 to think, wow, I should have changed that. Get in touch, fellas. Honest. Good mate, just trying to get on this Mark Coyle to show charity out. So I can cry if it leads to Liverpool. I'll do that with you, Liam. Kai, yeah, look, there's me mate there, Liam Wright O'Reilly. Yeah, I don't want to pin that. So look what he's doing, yeah? He's, he's done enough jail for everyone, mate, just like all of us have. He's done, he's done worse things than most of us, just like all of us. He's, 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 you know, he's one of the boys, but, you know, mental health's heavy, so he's wanting to do a Leeds to Liverpool canal on kayaks, yeah? Imagine that, fellas. Whether you have a joint or not, whether you do whatever, like, just imagine floating along, just even having a joint or a... A couple of little boozers on the lake with each other, lads, and just going up. You get what I'm saying? I don't, I don't smoke weed, but I'll happily have a booze with you on the way up there. But look at that, raise money, in it. Do a few lives on there. See what we can do. Ryes, what's happening? Ah, yes, the fella Kiffin's in the house, you know. Where that Kiff? Get in, lads. How can I get Kiff in here? Sick, you know, old life for Kiff, mate. Proper. Kiff, request to come in, son. Yeah. Jump on the line, Kiff. See what's happening, brother. Hope you're all right, mate. Who's this? Yes, Kiff. Oh, mate, I'm in bed, son. <laughs> what's happening? Fuck all. I got How have you been? All right, son, huh? Yeah, mate, I've been good, man. I've been good, I've been good. good Trying to get a bit of work, mate, with fucking me license, me pass. Oh, so long, mate. Bro, listen, lad, as I say, where are you? Where are you in London, Kev? I'm in uh, Grove, Labour like Grove. Lads, just hit me up, mate. I've got loads of people in London who offer people work, but as I said, I don't know what your license kills I said people probably won't know in here but you're an ex-lifer mate and like you know you're doing well outside Kiff so mm. good on you mate must be hard for you people think it's hard coming home off two years mate I know mate I know, I know. what are you saying what are you saying it's positive work in London yeah yeah man well I'm up for that son I've got long arms you know these days Kiff <laughs> well, I can see I can see mate I can see that's, that's good that's brilliant I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you mate yeah, we're just helping the egg, lad. It's hard to come home on license I'm, these days, bro. I'm so if I can do what I can, so even if even if it's a conversation, Kiff, it's... Yeah. It's no, I'm going to get involved in some of that. Trying to, like, setting something up for, for, for the long term. This is long term as you've come out of jail. And, 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 because, and, listen, I'll be honest with you, Liam, I've seen probation ten times since I've been out here. Yeah? I didn't have no... Wow. Imagine this, yeah? Convicted murderer comes out sees probation for three months and then has no probation for three months. Imagine if the public yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna think, well what's going on here? You've got a geezer to But especially like you're not no fucking shoplifter or not and you've just come home with a life sentence. But that's how the that's how they treat you, so you so you slip up, bro. That's it's bad, but crazy, mate. This is why, like, even what I'm doing, you get loads of companies trying to earn thousands of pounds out of like just bumping ex offenders and like putting them through courses, but it comes to nothing. And they just, but it's all out of the like the, the anti crime pot. There's a big pot of money, but like what I'm trying to do is just go, right, mate. If you got two jobs there, no worries. And advertise two jobs on my Instagram. People just go and start. Why do you want to go and do a 10 week course when you've just come home as a lifer eh? or as a normal person without getting paid to do it? And it's not worth it, so I'm just trying to get people straight directly into companies and work, bro. Well, that's good then. I wouldn't mind some of that. I've raised my license. I've had, I've had three jobs turned down, bro. I had three jobs offered, ready to start. But because I had my license for 12 months, it fucks up. And plus, I've sent it off and I still come out of provisional, mate. So it can't. Uh, How long have. Uh, 
Do you know when I come home, Kev? I didn't. E- I didn't even. I didn't even. I had no ID, no bank account, yeah, no yeah. not. I've never had anything in my life. Same Do you know how hard it was? I was going into probation, saying like, so you've got homeless people who come to probation who've got more ID than I have. How the fuck that happens? Yeah. And like, he used to take it like I'm insulting people on the street when I went, but like, that, he didn't help me with nothing. It's all privatised now, so I had to get my own provisional, own fucking bank. Yeah, yeah. And it was hard getting a bank Listen, without ID. I, I told them to keep the money at, uh, at the job centre that time, because they, they, they wanted something, the bank wanted something. To get, to get a bank account, I needed to get proof I was doing something with the job centre. Then to get the, to get the job centre, to give me something, I needed to sign it from them. I miss them, mate. It was, it was, it was, it was one, 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 one what he's saying, and then the other one he's saying, and I couldn't, I was like, hold on. That, he, that's why we all fucking keep it. Let's fucking keep it. And they went, no, 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 no. And then, and then they pulled their fingers out. When I said, well, I said, we'll keep it. I don't want their money anymore. Fuck it, keep it. And my boy was going to just fucking say, he was going, Dad, don't worry about it. I'll send you whatever, you, whatever, a month. And he was giving me like 500 quid a week for the first, for about a year when I first come out. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, the hard thing I've had to learn, Kip, as well, when I'm coming home and they're going to work. Budget and me money, lad. Like, some days you might not have money doing what you were doing, some days you might, but yeah. every day, like, you think you can go out and have a breakfast every morning the way you was when you're grafting. Like, when you work and you've got a budget, you know, that's the hardest right, thing I've managed. It, 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 probation. I've, set, I've had five probation officers now in two and a half years. I've had about the same, mate. I've had four, four, I, four in the three years. I complain all the time and say, like, why would why would the people who come home after serving a year get a full probation all of a sudden have a good relationship with them? But people who come home after a long time, like you change them every day, like you need to I'm be stuck. So, I'm, mate, the I haven't, I haven't, was, I haven't you know. spoken to a probation officer in the last three months. Do you know? Do you know when I go on probation and tell them what I'm doing? They hate it. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't be doing that, Liam. You shouldn't be trying to get involved. We we do. I said no. Listen, I've been through the shit you do, and like. He just don't do nothing, but he resent me for that, lad, and like, I feel it as well in the offices, and I'm, I've, I've done better than them, lad. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, it's mad, isn't it? I know, because, and that's the thing. Because I've got a point, you know what, I was I, how, how, can you listen, how can you listen to someone, right, who's never been to jail, or no, never done a crime, it, it, or never I lived? Say the same. with me, so, I so. The, the best thing with me on here, Kiff, all the lads who follow me and are... Not all of them, but like a majority of the lads are always on me live in jails and like messaging me afterwards, just like, lad, well done when we come home, lads, with deaf old fucking, I've had enough and just to get messages from people who were in jail doing that. Yeah. I, I love it. It's fucking proper, bro. So at the same time, it, it encouraged me to do what I'm doing. Yeah. And like, yeah. you know, it's, I'm not going to stop doing it, lads, but I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm not trying to come out here and be the next fucking professor of getting people work. I'm just trying to make the lads in jail watch what I'm doing. Watch me and work, and just watch it, and and just doing that changes them, bro, or helps yeah, them. Yeah, that's good. That's right. How long are you on license for, Kev? Life. So, 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 how long did you save? Fifteen. Wow, this is what I'm saying. People don't know. Obviously, these lots of scousers in here. Kev keeps the life, a man from London. He's proper good stuff. Met him in, met him in. I met you in cold and he first, weren't it, Kev? Cold. That's right. Yes, he was. Wasn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember when I was in Coldly, I never, I never fucked about with these phones and that until you come. Yeah, no, no. Till I come. <laughs> <laughs> but last, hey, then we went to the open jail together, and I got off, yeah, and right. I couldn't be asked for it, mate. I ran away. You ran off. Remember, yeah, remember, shit, remember I, got kicked, I got kicked out of the decat though. Did, did you get kicked out of the decat? <laughs> yeah, I got caught with some PG, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you got it, yeah, I remember you got kicked out. Remember hey, lad, that was the sickest party, Jay, I like it, where is it? Like, do you remember, we had that, you remember that, you remember that party? <laughs> 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 oh, mate. Yes, no, man, I made up to see you, I made up to see you. You remember? I'm just made up to see you. What, lad? Remember there was a load of us in my show, wasn't there? There was about eight, nine of us in there. Lad, Don't I've got a video, you, I've got a video of you. I've got a video of you where you were up for two days in there, just dancing, lads, and like, you know, you're pushing 50, aren't you, Kiff? You were going for it, lads. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 53 now. Go on, Kiff. But lads, as I say, like, doing, doing 15 years straight behind the door and coming home and, you know, doing what you're doing and just just had enough of it. Like, you're a legend, mate, so I made up. But Kiffin, you know, like, what's going on, son? You got the video, you have to send me the video, son. 
I would love that. Uh, well, I've got one there, but I think we were in mind yours or Rushy's cell. And you're like, my, my, so we're like, it's like that for ages, man. Fucking mm. legends, you know, Rushy man. Off, <coughs> Rushy went off to go and get some more fucking diesel. Yeah. Days, we? Remember, he, he went over to my cell about half ten at night with his old up asking for some man, uh, um, MD. I was like, what yeah, can I wish you were doing? Well, yeah, no, lads, some good people in there, but especially you lot, life is in Coldenly and that, like, people don't understand Coldenly. He's got some serious men in Anakin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming to the end, Big yeah. What's that coming to the end? Yeah, ones that are coming to the end, but mm. glad I met you, bro. Glad you're doing what you're doing, mate. Yeah, man, legend. I'm, I'm really pleased to see what you're doing, mate. I was like, really? Yeah. I, was surprised. I was surprised. I thought you'd have been going to the right, mate. Like, no, do you know if I'd have went straight, you know if I'd have went straight back, if I'd have went straight back to Liverpool, I'd have felt like I was on licence. I'd have been avoiding police and looking dodgy and... I'd have been recalled in seven, so what I've done is just fucked off, just re focused yeah, on me, re okay. changed my life. Never be, a, never be ashamed to reinvent yourself, man. That's I what I always seen in a few years ago, that. so, so that I'm reinventing myself. And I'm down here, lads, I'm known as Liam, and up there I'm known as Ditchy, so mm -hmm. I'm down here being who I want to be and not who I have to be, yeah, if that makes sense to you. Mate. Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. That's like me, I'm out of the, my area, Croydon. Imagine if I went back to Croydon, it'd be problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. fuckers are running the bastard, killing each other. I'll start up a project, didn't I? It ain't, it ain't kicked off yet. I just needed the funding. I need some funding, mate. I've, I've made three workshops, knife crime, county lines, and uh, mental health awareness. I've got I a website and everything. I've got, I've, got, I've got a YouTube channel where I was doing... What's it called? Uh, empoweringyouth.com. Yes, sweet. Empowering you, empowering youth, yes. I've got a couple of mentees that I've got. I'll get that. I'll get that for a I'll get that. Huh? I'll promote that for you. I'll get that out there for you and promote that, lad. Yeah, sweet, brother. Empowering use. Yeah, because as yeah. I say, look, people who are watching probably thinking, who the fuck's did she talk to? But I say, Kiff went to jail 15 years ago, mate. He, 18 you know, years ago. 18 years ago. 18 years ago. I don't want to get into it. Years ago, I, went, yeah, I, met, I met my missus, who I'd known 25 years before, 23 years before. We met on the same day I got fucking put down 15 years later. Oh, legend, you know, and you've come out, you, you lads, and you've always been around the youngsters party, and lad, you've That's done right, it, man. you've done it the right way, you know. I still, I still have a little party down again, I've got a couple of videos of that <laughs> party, mate. Uh, I went to a few festivals with her, she took me festivals and all that. Me. What was it like going to your first festival oh, after mate, 15 brilliant, years? Brilliant, mate, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, go on, brother, yeah, fucking happy to see that, you know, mate. That's yeah, nice, that, like. Come on. Doing, doing. Well, lads, we'll link up, mate. I'll come down and see you and have some food to get us some mm -hmm. cafe mm -hmm. to sleep. Definitely, mate. 100%. You're in London, anyway. Where's you? Essex. Oh, you're in Essex. Well, I'm driving now. Anyway, I've got a little Beetle. A little Beetle convertible. Same. Same. Yeah, we'll meet up. Look, we'll look at Kevin. The Beetle driver. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Look, Kevin. 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 I can jump in the car and go. Listen, mate, I get days where I'm like, not fuck it, like I want to go back, but because I've always said I'd rather be out here with nothing than fucking in there with. Yeah, you know Kim, that we all, every one of us, right, when we're in jail, I don't care who you are, right. We all say to each other when we when we come home. If some people plan to be a millionaire selling drugs no. when they come home, and no. the majority of us have had enough and got kids and goes, you know what? Yeah. When I go home, I'm going legit. But yeah. you face the challenges like what we've both faced off probation on a yeah. daily fucking basis. No help. They don't give no you help. no help at all. I haven't, I haven't tested them to see 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 what they're gonna say. I've got a little flat. I went. I've got no electric in there. I've got nothing for three days. I've had nothing. Da -da -da. They said, well, you know. Nothing they can do, mate. Lads, and look at that, lads. You're, 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 you're an ex-lifer. You're, you're, I'm not saying you're the danger to the public because you're not, but they should be assisting you when what? you are trying to rehabilitate yourself. After, after, and three, don't... Months, after three months being out, I never had no probation for three months. Never seen no one. Wow. No one, nothing for three months. Just imagine, just imagine you was a proper complete crank. I know. And you, that happened to you. And you, and you just went on to have a killing spree, bro, like... That's bad, you know. And Terrible. Like, probation and not accountable. They, they, they try and not hold themselves accountable and blame you all the time. And, like, it's bad, mate. So I'm just out here trying to voice an opinion for the lads, lads. So all the lads can understand. When they come home and you think you want to change and it's easy, 
you come home and get a few quid off your mates every day. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, the novelty wears off. Yeah, the novelty wears off quick. Yeah, we all know that's that. Right, that's so, right. And when you go to work, you're doing a month's work before you get paid, or like a week. And sometimes it's hard to like go without gold, but you've just got to look. If you want to do it, I'm here for anyone who actually wants to fucking crack on and change. But yeah. if you don't and you're still fucking about, good luck to you. But if you ever want to decide to fucking pull away from it, man, hit me up. Or yeah. Kiff's channel, what's your channel called, Kiff? Sorry? What's your channel called on YouTube? Empoweringyouth.com I've got a few. I've got a couple of on you there. Couldn't, you, you couldn't get advice from a better person about knife crime, in my opinion. So instead of listening to people who've got books and like read, read off books or read off fucking yeah, di dictionaries on how to treat people, you've been there, you've done it, you know the impact, you know the ripple effect behind yeah, this. So yeah. it's but this is all I'm trying to do for the lads in Liverpool because we've all got a similar upbringing. Yeah, but like right. with yourself, you've got people in London yeah. again. Knife crimes massive down there, so no, that's right. It's um, as well massive. Worst place in London. You're, you're and I was trying to. You I, should I'm be trying, I've, got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got um, I've, de I've developed an app here, an app on your phone for kids to use here. But obviously, I've developed it in my in my, uh, on paper and that. But it's forty grand literally, or thirty grand roughly to, to get it up and going. But it will, it will, it will be life changing, mate. Uh, yeah, you can make money out of it, or you can go as a, like a non-profit organization. And yeah, get paid off it like that. Get it, get it done. Like someone in Canada. Look at this kid, yeah. You see, the big, the big, the big reoffending budget to stop reoffending in the country is worth millions, right? Mm -hmm. And you get all these people now saying they can get ex-cons work and set up businesses, right? And then they say, we'll put you through six weeks training and afterwards we will find you a job. It doesn't say you're guaranteed a job, yeah? Mm. So they then apply to the job centre and probation and say, we've got 50 men who we want to put through a course. It's eight grand a person. They just go and pay an assessor 350 quid a day and hire a building, put loads of people through courses and then change the company name. That's what people are doing. So the big pot of money, what can actually help proper people who want to make a massive impact, yeah, yeah, yeah. is just getting filtered everywhere by the hundreds of thousands through all these companies making money off the back of the con. So with me, I'd rather you as a company message me and say, I've got two people for work there and I'll advertise it. Yeah. Then me say, there's a training company because all the training companies are bollocks. If I ever had the chance to do one myself and to give you eight grand a person funding, Imagine what you'd do for the lads. You, uh, you, you uh, uh, my, I know. You, you'd give them the rest of it and say, go and stag on by a little vanny. Ah, there's a monkey, there's two, there's two bags. Yeah, yeah. You get an eight grand a person, so with me. I'm just trying to do it where all them people get pushed away. You try and make money off ex cons, and more money gets put into youth clubs and the likes of people who are trying to make a real impact from real experiences, bro, not just these businessmen yeah. who see a profit margin in ex cons and like work yeah, the little system yeah. out in the red. Yeah, yeah, that's good. We need, we need to live. Hey, it's like, it's like I've got you on a podcast, Kiff. Huh? <laughs> it's like I've got you on a podcast. I know. I, I've done a podcast, actually, with Crilly. I don't know if you know about Crilly. Nah. John Crilly, he was one of the, he was one of the lads who, 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 who stopped that geezer. Well, he we killed two people. Bro, see one day. He killed see two people. one day. One day, one day in the next few weeks, I'll come down, yeah. And like, you know, like, I'll do, I, even myself, I'll just sit and like have a little chat with you, lad, and then pull it up, and you, yeah, it's you expressing yeah, yeah, what yeah. you want to do. And I don't I'll do that for you any time you want, bro. John Cooley, John Cooley was one of the, one, one of the um, London Bridge three that stopped him. He was, he was with the firehouse, with the Muslim. Oh, group. yeah, he was in the open jail, where you sit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and I done, a, um, I, done a, I done a podcast with him. It's about an hour long. Podcast. Yeah, just about, like it. Yeah, before before Good Morning Britain got him, I got him before Piers Morgan, mate. I done the interview first. <laughs> Go on, give me, lad. Yeah. I got the interview Go first, on, mate. You know what I mean? It's out there. It's on my yeah, YouTube man. channel. Yes. Yeah, look, as said. I say, look what I'll do, Kev. Yeah, I'll take this video and put it up on my on my thing and tag your things for it. Yeah. All right. Because, like, as I say, people people might be inspired by what we spoke about and how we've done it, or he might be interested in certain things about what we spoke about. So I'll keep this one up, lads. I've never kept a live up in my life, but it's Kiffin, the legend, made the dancing feet <laughs> of the fucking HMP system, you know. Fucking I, I, quality. Listen, I've got to get off quickly, because I've got, I've got um, my phone's done. No problem, I've got to go and get the thingy, but we're going to link up soon. I'll, I'll, I'll look, I'll look out for your lives anyway. 
Thanks, lads. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Careful, always there. Right. Good, mate. Nice one, Liam. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. I'm proud of you. Nice one. Very, very, very nice one. Nice one. Keep playing yourself, bro. Lovely to Thanks, see brother. You. Lovely to see you, mate. Thanks, mate. Speak soon, yeah? So, are you, are, you, are, you, are you cleared up enough how to get off the live? Yeah. Go on, like on there, let's see. <laughs> Chip, man. Look, see, Chip, as I say, he's just done a straight 15 out of his sentencing. He ironed someone out in London and, like, you know, he's own, like, struggling, like, probation, just against shit. It's, it's a swimming against the tide when you come home, boys, so. Again, I've experienced it and I know how to handle it. So if anyone needs help on how to handle the pressures and stresses of being home and wanting to change your life, man, just hit me up, lad. But only when you're ready, do you get what I'm saying? And when you really want to do it, you'll know. So, boys, I'm going to shoot off this, yeah? Respect to everyone. And Kiffin, fucking proud of you, brother. Keep going, mate.